Syria now, where at least 27 people have been killed in separate incidents. In the first, over a dozen regime soldiers were killed in two roadside bombs which targeted a military bus. Several people were injured, but there has been no claim of responsibility for the blast. And in the second attack, regime forces killed at least 13 civilians, including four children in Idlib. They bombed a marketplace in the Ariha district. More than 35 people were injured, although the number of casualties is expected to rise. Claire Heriot has been following the latest developments in Gaziantep near the Turkish-Syrian border. It's been, Wednesday has been a very violent day in Syria. Uh, first in Damascus, when this uh, bus carrying military personnel was crossing a bridge in the city centre during rush hour traffic, and two blasts went off and 14 military personnel died. According to state media, there was a third device that army personnel made safe. Then, shortly after that, uh, this uh, regime forces shelling the marketplace in Idlib province where 13 civilians died. According to the United Nations Children's Agency, UNICEF, four of those 13 people were children on their way to school. So it's been a, a violent day uh, in Syria. Even the UN Special Envoy has said that he, he's kind of managed expectations on this. A group of 45 delegates, that's 10 representing the regime, 10 from the opposition and 10 from civil society, so NGOs and such, are now actually trying to write the constitution. So their job this week, between Monday and Friday, and this is day three, is to put some words on paper. But with buses still blowing up, with children being killed on their way to school, with refugees returning and being persecuted from the very same regime that they fled, it's really just words until all those things stop happening.